And business news continues as China's lawmakers and political advisers continue to meet and talk at the two sessions of the NPC and the CPPCC. Provincial open days have resumed for the first time since pandemic restrictions were lifted. At a session organized by the southern Guangdong province, a key topic was how to speed up high-quality manufacturing. Daryl Wong reports. Deputies from China's largest provincial economy get their heads down for what's known as the small group discussion of delegates on the sidelines of the ongoing two sessions, China's most important annual political meetings. For Guangdong delegates, the focus is very much on how to transform the traditional manufacturing powerhouse. The southern province is the country's key economic driver, with a GDP of US $1.89 trillion in 2023. It's the first province to reach such a size. But there have been growing concerns that its all-important manufacturing industry may be losing its shine. Geopolitical risks and rising costs have prompted both local and foreign manufacturers to rethink their supply chain strategies. Now, some of them have moved parts of their operations to other regions like South Asia or Southeast Asia. Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers, for instance, have recently gotten the backing of the government to build their supply chain overseas, all in response to trade restrictions from the US and Europe. In response to a question posed by CNA, Guangdong Governor Wang Weizong says that while those challenges remain, the region has also optimised a market-oriented, law-based environment to attract major foreign-funded projects. He added that over 1,900 such firms set up shop in January this year, an increase of 106% from last year. Renzhen落实国家新一轮大规模设备更新部署 the region has been at the forefront of China's economic reform and opening up. It's the nexus of China's Greater Bay Area, where rapid high-tech developments are drawing foreign investments. And in a nod to doing things differently, reporters were given access into this usually restricted zone for the first time, to film deputies up close, even as they were speaking. The Greater Bay Area is going to generate uh, the mobility of uh, lots of talents, including mainland Chinese, Hong Kong people, Thai people, and even people from other parts of the world. So the, the challenge for Guangdong is to retain the existing talents while attracting more talents from other provinces. Another interesting development is that uh, Guangdong is trying to become a magnet, uh, attracting the uh, top-end uh, universities in both uh, Hong Kong and Macau, uh, and encourage these universities to move a little bit inward to the north. Professor Lo believes that with increasing investments in tech education and better connectivity to Hong Kong and Macau, Guangdong remains a fertile space for foreign investors. Deborah Wong, CNA, Beijing.